Thing that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Donald Trump, a name synonymous with controversy and resilience. But what happens when the forces against him unite? Join us as we dive into the intricate web of events aimed at toppling the 45th President of the United States. In the past few days, Donald Trump has again found himself at the center of intense scrutiny and attacks. I think they said, take a look at what happened. Oh. One of the most shocking incidents occurred during a rally in Pennsylvania, where Trump was targeted in an assassination attempt. In the wake of the shooting, the man who attempted to kill Donald Trump has been identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, according to an FBI statement released a short while ago. The shooter can be seen in camouflage on a rooftop near the Trump rally. The gunman was killed by Secret Service officers. The FBI has named the man suspected of shooting at former U.S. President Donald Trump as Thomas Matthew Crooks. He was 20 years old and from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Trump was shot at during a rally in Pennsylvania, with Secret Service agents swarming the former president after a series of gunshots. He was quickly bundled off stage and into a waiting vehicle and has since returned home to New Jersey. This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. The FBI says they are treating the incident as an assassination attempt. In a post to his Truth Social Network, Trump said a bullet pierced the upper part of his right ear. Earlier, his spokesperson said he was receiving treatment at a local medical center. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin, Trump wrote. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. Blood was clearly visible on Trump's ear and face as protection officers rushed him away. The FBI statement added that the incident is an active and ongoing investigation. Pennsylvania police say there are no further threats following the shooting. The suspect was shot dead at the scene by U.S. Secret Service officers, the agency's spokesperson Anthony Guglielmi said. He added that one bystander was killed in the shooting and two others were critically injured. Officials later revealed that all three victims were male. Well, the latest we've got is a, a full statement now from the Secret Service and that has confirmed uh, a number of the details we've been reporting on BBC News for the last couple of hours. They say the shooter, there was a shooter who was on an elevated position uh, outside the, uh, the farm show ground where the rally was taking place. That tallies with what our eyewitnesses have been telling us. They say... Law enforcement sources told the BBC's US partner CBS News that Crooks had been armed with a rifle and had fired from an elevated structure a few hundred meters away outside the venue. Earlier, agents told reporters in Butler they had yet to establish a motive for the assassination attempt. Special Agent Kevin Rojek confirmed the agency was treating the shooting as an assassination attempt. He added that the suspect had not been carrying ID and that investigators were using DNA in an attempt to identify him formally. We have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies our state partners, and our local police partners as well. With that being said, also, we do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify. In this beautiful Commonwealth with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots, and that's what you are, and we got to bring our country back to health. The Republican candidate for president had just started addressing his supporters in Butler, Pennsylvania, a crucial swing state in November's election, when the shot started. Multiple bangs rang out as Trump spoke about his successor, President Joe Biden, and his administration. Several supporters holding placards and standing behind Trump ducked as the shots were heard. Bystanders who spoke to the BBC suggested the gunshots may have come from a one-story building to the right of the stage where Trump was speaking. So we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. One witness, Greg, 
told the BBC that he had spotted a suspicious-looking person, bear crawling on the roof of the building about five minutes after Trump took to the stage. He said he pointed the person out to the police. He had a rifle. We could see him with a rifle, he said. We're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police did not know what was going on. This shocking incident underscores the high stakes and intense emotions surrounding Trump's political career. As we explore the key moments and efforts aimed at bringing down Donald Trump, this recent attack sets the stage for a deeper understanding of the challenges he has faced. Issuing a statement from President Trump responding to the appointment of a special counsel. The president says in part, a thorough investigation will confirm what we already know. There was no collusion between my campaign and any foreign entity. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein naming former FBI Director Robert Mueller to oversee the investigation into Russia's election interference. The Russia Investigation one of the earliest and most significant attempts to challenge Trump's presidency was the Russia investigation. Allegations of Russian interference in the 2016 election and potential collusion with the Trump campaign led to a sprawling investigation headed by special counsel Robert Mueller. Nadler, the, uh, and ranking member Collins and the members of the committee. As you know, in May 2017, the acting attorney general asked me to serve as special counsel. The Mueller report, released in 2019, outlined numerous contacts between Trump's campaign and Russian officials, but did not establish a criminal conspiracy. However, the investigation revealed extensive evidence of obstruction of justice by Trump. The findings shook the political landscape, with some calling for impeachment and others dismissing the investigation as a witch hunt. The impeachment trials. Trump's presidency saw not one, but two impeachment trials, a historical first. Of an impeachable offense. An impeachment proceeding. With an official impeachment inquiry. Ukraine finds itself at the center of America's impeachment investigation after Donald Trump repeatedly asked his Ukrainian counterpart, Vladimir Zelensky, to investigate the family of the former vice president, Joe Biden. The first impeachment in 2019 centered around the Ukraine scandal. Trump was accused of abusing his power by pressuring Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden, his political rival, and obstructing Congress by refusing to cooperate with the investigation. The House of Representatives, led by Speaker Nancy Pelosi, impeached Trump. But the Senate acquitted him, allowing him to remain in office. The incursion of the U.S. Capitol struck at the very heart of our republic. It angered and appalled millions of Americans in 2021, following the storming of the U.S. Capitol by Trump supporters, Trump faced a second impeachment for incitement of insurrection. The House quickly moved to impeach, but once again, the Senate acquitted him. These impeachments were highly divisive, deepening the political rift in the country. Legal battles and lawsuits. Beyond the political arena, Trump has faced numerous legal battles from allegations of hush money payments to Stormy Daniels to investigations into his business practices by New York prosecutors, Trump's legal woes have been a constant source of headlines. The New York investigations in particular have scrutinized the Trump Organization's financial dealings, potentially posing significant legal and financial risks to Trump and his family. These ongoing legal battles have kept Trump in the spotlight even after leaving office media and public opinion. The media has played a crucial role in shaping the narrative around Trump. From the very beginning, Trump has had a contentious relationship with mainstream media, often labeling them as fake news. Media coverage of Trump's scandals, controversies, and his unorthodox style has been relentless. This coverage has influenced public opinion, with Trump's approval ratings fluctuating dramatically throughout his presidency. The media's role in the attempted downfall of Trump cannot be overstated, as it has both amplified and scrutinized every move he made. Internal Republican Opposition While Trump has maintained a strong base of support within the Republican Party, he has also faced significant opposition from within. Notable Republicans, including Senators Mitt Romney and John McCain, have publicly opposed Trump on various issues. This internal dissent has sometimes complicated Trump's political strategy and highlighted the deep divisions within the GOP.
The January 6th Capitol Riot Perhaps the most dramatic and consequential event in the attempted downfall of Trump was the January 6th Capitol Riot. On that day, a mob of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol, disrupting the certification of the 2020 election results. Trump's role in inciting the riot led to his second impeachment and a wave of condemnation from both political parties. The subsequent investigations by Congress have continued to explore the events of that day, seeking accountability and answers about Trump's involvement, ongoing challenges and future prospects. Despite these numerous challenges, Trump remains a formidable force in American politics. Ongoing investigations and legal challenges continue to pose threats to his legacy and future ambitions. As Trump hints at a potential run for the presidency in 2024, the political landscape remains uncertain. The attempts to bring him down have reshaped American politics and democracy, raising questions about accountability, resilience, and the future of the nation. Donald Trump's journey has been a tumultuous one, marked by scandals, legal battles, and political warfare. Yet, through it all, he has shown remarkable resilience. The attempted downfall of Donald Trump is a complex and multifaceted saga that continues to unfold. What do you think about the events we've discussed? Do you believe the efforts to bring down Trump were justified or politically motivated? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of today's most pressing issues.